Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata. If you guys have a Hyundai Sonata, you need to remove or replace front uh, front brake pads and the disc roller. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. Every time guys you replace brake pads, you have to do certain procedure to the roller or replace it and we will explain guys how to know what to do. So make sure you stay until the end, very helpful information will be shared with you today. <laughs> So this should actually work on Hyundai Sonata generation from year 2010 all the way to year 2015 guys. Also, uh, let me introduce you quick to the channel. If you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. And specifically guys, on this Hyundai Sonata, we'll have more than 300 videos, mechanical videos, videos that will be uploaded on the channel you're watching right now and we'll have more than 200 electrical videos about diagnostics fixing electrical components and that will be posted on our second channel electrical car repair live check it out guys everything okay will be shared so we can guys save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so this specifically it's a 2013 Hyundai Sonata that we'll demonstrate on we'll demonstrate on the front right side but front left practically should be about the same so, we'll be replacing disc uh, front brake pads guys, we'll show you how to remove the disc roller. Every time you replace the brake pads, you need to take your roller to a machine shop, parts, the car parts store, they have a special machine that they turn them, make them even smooth, so you don't have uh, a grooved roller, also you don't have low and high spots that can cause vibration. However, every roller has certain minimum thickness that it can meet. If it's below that thickness, okay, you have to replace your roller. And we have a special video that explains, uh, do I need new brake rollers? So, check it out, it's on our channel. Now, what do we need to do, guys? Right here, those are the brake pads. You need to jack the car up on the side that you're working on. We recommend to replace front brake pads at the same time, left and right side. Uh, so do one side then the other one uh, make sure you don't just replace on one wheel on both wheels uh, will need to be done uh, at the same time guys because otherwise if you just replace one wheel the other one the brake pads most likely are done too you will need to guys remove the wheel once you remove the wheel this is the brake caliper right here on the brake caliper okay you will have uh, you can see two bolts okay that's the guide bolt right here where the caliper moves and glides on it Ours, whoever replaced them last time, used the wrench and messed them up, guys. So, we need to hammer the socket in because it doesn't fit correctly. Okay, perfect. Now, we are going to take it off. We'll share the torque specs with you as we go, guys. So, stay with us and we'll cover that. So, let's go ahead. Get that one loose. Nope, that's, that socket is not all the way in as it should. We need to just get the big hammer and press it all the way in otherwise it's going to come out that's why it's very important to use sockets and things like that not just wrenches because you can severely damage your brakes let's go ahead take that bolt loose and whoever got it tight probably didn't use the torque specs if it's spinning 17 millimeter wrench I got it right here guys okay you hold it right there And the bolt just snapped. So that one is one over tightened bolt, guys. Now, in that case, what do you need to do? You need to put a new guide bolt, new pin, because this one just completely broke because somebody didn't use the correct torque spec. So we're going to explain what to do in that case now. So now we're going to replace, uh, to remove the one on top or see if it's going to break as well because whoever works on that car guys okay one thing that we see doesn't even have a safety pin okay right here on the cv nut guys on the cv axle nut so that's dangerous really dangerous so we need to hammer that one in a little bit more okay i think it's getting there let's see if it's going to break now because everything we touch on this car, it breaks because somebody didn't know how to take care of things. It started spinning, so we need to hold it with the wrench here. One of them is coming loose. So that's great, one of them is coming loose. We will explain what you need to do in that case, guys, what to expect, all that stuff.
All right. We're lucky enough to be able to remove that one. Now, you will need to get a bailing wire or heavy duty zip ties to you guys because uh, you never let your brake caliper hang on the brake uh, on the brake line itself because it can cause quite a bit of damage. Okay, and it can easily, easily break. Now, you need to get a screwdriver. We need to gain a little bit, okay, a little bit of room here between the pads and the roller because you have a lip that uh, your pads will not be able to come out of. Okay, but also, in some cases you may be able to slide it out because actually the parts will stay on the roller so i think we can just simply do that and then we'll show you how to compress that roller because uh, otherwise guys okay if you don't compress it uh, you cannot install the new parts which will be actually bigger so now guys okay we are ready to actually pull that caliper gently out if it doesn't come out you can just help it a little bit okay with the screwdriver, careful not to have any, okay, any tension on the brake line, so go on the bottom more now, because the top, if you pull, you will have tension on the brake line, otherwise you have to disconnect that mount there with a 12 millimeter socket. So if it doesn't want to come out, okay, you can compress it a little bit with the screwdriver, or just try to come on both sides up at the same time. So, now, Eventually guys, okay, what we did, we actually removed that bracket here, okay, so we can gain a little bit more room. Now we're going to go ahead, pull it out, okay, you can see, and we're going to tie it for the strut to hang there uh, with, a, with a wire, so that way we don't cause any damage actually to the brake line. So this is guys the guide okay for the uh, for the caliper the one that broke okay the gu the guide itself okay you need to clean and it's good you can see it goes right here everything's good uh, we just unscrew it from the bolt but the bolt broke from the caliper itself it kind of like welded itself from so much rust aluminum forms that sometimes so uh, <coughs> we all we have to do in that case okay we need to push that thing out or we need to drill it out and install new bolt and uh, probably in some cases it will be recommended if your guides are really rusty replace them as well uh, here you can remove them clean them and re-grease them as well that way you will have nice running okay nice uh, running brace smooth brakes that will move uh, back and forth with no problem so now we can safely remove the brake pads guys okay right here okay perfect and now we're going to actually go ahead and get the other pad as well perfect now if you guys okay we we'll recommend new brake shims as well especially those how bad they are rusted but you can clean them if they're in good condition regrease them and they should be fine most of the times they come with new brake pads so you don't need to worry about that in order to get the roller now guys okay what you need to do you actually need to remove two more bolts with 17 millimeter socket right here so that brake caliper mount can come off and we're going to explain how to actually compress the brake caliper okay as well because you need to compress it to install new nuts also we'll, sh we'll show you a trick how to remove that roller so make sure you stay with us until the end so on the back side it's with 17 millimeter that we need to remove these two we'll have a, a special video on our channel that will explain the brake the brake caliper torque specs on Hyundai Sonata so please guys check it out especially for this model if you have uh, ours is specifically 2013 model and you need to always verify with your service manual as well because even if it's the same year doesn't mean that it will be the same uh, torque specs in some cases so uh, 17 millimeter socket okay let's go ahead get these things loose they're probably close to 100 newton meters torque so they will be tied Now the one on the bo on top. Okay, let's see if we can get there, or we'll need to use actually the box wrench in our case because the suspension bolt is in the way. We need to get a, a 17 millimeter half inch soaker, so we don't need to use the extension. So let's see if we can take it off. Nope, pretty tight. So <clears throat> we got actually the torque wrench. It fits great, so we got it loose with it because it has a long handle and that bolt is super super tight guys so tight that you will have a hard time getting them loose but in order to remove the rotor you need to remove these two bolts otherwise it's impossible to do that 
so in this video guys we're going to explain how to do all that we will need to get a new bolt for the caliper because you can see our snapped probably it was over tightened and as a result now we are paying the price for it that's why sometimes it's better to do the service yourself get us get tools and stuff do it yourself know what you did what you didn't what you did wrong to your vehicle so you can fix it and not make the same mistake because some places that they call mechanic shops and stuff like that they have no idea what's happening guys all right both came out now a second one too now there is a trick about uh, let me explain about that quick okay about getting that brake roller loose you will have two two bolts with a phillips screwdriver if you guys try to use regular phillips screwdriver you will just round them and you will never be able to take them out there is a special trick and we're going to explain what that is okay you can see the caliper mount came out perfect now we can even clean everything real nice and easy right here where the caliper meets the hub spray penetrating spray guys let it soak even for like 20 30 minutes these bolts spray between the bolts too if you can a little bit and then we're going to get okay a metal screwdriver tip okay and we're going to hammer it in give us just a second okay right there so few up screwdriver let me explain now few up screwdriver right here on a metal socket so you can hold it get it there and hit it that's going to break the the rust loose and they'll come off otherwise they will not be able to guess perfect now the bottom one great now okay oh this one almost slipped my heart is about to stop because if those break sometimes it's a pain to get them out okay perfect one is out second one now okay great now that roller will be stuck guys if you're replacing it you can just get the hammer and get it out if your guys uh reconditioning it okay to resurface it get a rubber hammer and gently tap on the on the back side okay tap it right here a couple of times okay now let's go ahead okay and up oh, on the other side we had something We'll go ahead and see, okay, we'll soak it for a little bit more and we'll see if it will come out. So, rubber hammer right here guys, so we don't crack it so easily, there is still a chance. That thing is so, so, oh, it moved, go, go in now, in on this side. okay let's soak it one more time and we'll continue guys we need to definitely soak that thing okay one more time perfect and we'll continue so when you soak it for a while guys okay let's see it started moving okay let me just spread a little bit more whoa everywhere coming loose guys okay you can see how much rust is in here it's unbelievable and if you're to that point I recommend to get a new roller guys oh almost there okay what I'll do oh perfect finally came out so that's how we guys remove it. 
have leaves, co cobwebs and everything else in here so let's check it out yep that's your bearing assembly the hub right here guys that's the roller right there so now we will explain okay how to compress the brake caliper for the next step so now it's important guys okay to clean uh, everything here really good make sure you wipe all the dust dirt if you have uh, if you have uh, rust anything like that because we'll be compressing it okay and all that will go inside and you don't want to get stuck in the seal so this is the brake compressor too that we have right here that we'll be using okay that's what it looks like it's amazing it works on almost any car guys even though it's uh, it's uh, really convenient for rear brake calipers it's very convenient for front ones as well so uh, we're just going to get one of them one of those it doesn't really matter you need to find a fitting that fits there okay let's see does that one fit yeah that's right right there now we need to get guys okay we need to uh, let me see if that one will just slide in there we need to get one of the plates okay go through the handle install the plate like that you're going to come here okay let me position it you need to turn now that part until okay it, it actually comes all the way to here so let's let's just keep spinning that thing okay spin that okay let me just do it by hand quick because it needs to move quite a bit okay let's try now it needs to go in a little bit okay perfect now try to go there okay and just the other way then just start compressing you will have to have the brake reservoir open at that point guys and just keep compressing guys until the whole piston is in it's very important because otherwise you will not be installing new parts because they will be way thicker than your one especially if you're installing new rollers they will add some thickness to the equation as well so you want to make sure that it's compressed okay perfect all the way to the inside now we can just decom uh, uh, actually unscrew the thing remove it and we are ready for the next step now uh, we will have guys that's part one removal of the brakes part two is coming soon because we need to wait for some parts We're planning on finishing it in one video, but unfortunately we have to wait for the parts And we'll have part two how to replace brake parts on Hyundai Sonata. So please uh, check it out Also, we'll have a video about the torque specs there and it will explain all about that. Hopefully the video will be helpful Thank you for watching and see you next time